Okay, hello, you go. Hello. hello guys. We're gonna discuss Claire de Lynn by Claude Debussy. It's a song which was written in the beginning of the 1900s and it's part of the Sweet Bergamasque, which is kind of a fantasy suite with various themes from uh, the world of fantasy and fairy tales. But this is uh, about the uh, moonlight, which in French is Claire de Lune. It's in the key of D flat major, which is this. And he's uh, exploiting um, five notes from the scale, which is the D flat major pentatonic scale. So those are the five notes. And he creates different sounds with it. He plays thirds. And also he plays chords from the D flat major scale. D flat, E flat minor, F minor, D flat. So all this music is based around D flat pretty much with some other chords he borrows in. Okay, so let's look at the melody to begin with. Uh, it begins in the uh, right hand with the A flat here, and then it goes up here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one. So that's the actual melody. Then there's a second voice, which you could call the alto voice, and it goes mainly in thirds, and a third is three tones away from it. So it's one, two, three. So it's three notes under in the D flat scale. One, two, three. So it's an F here. And I've written a fingering, you can see, so I play five, three. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five. So I play these two notes. Two, three. The time signature is 9 eighth, uh, so that means in every measure you count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So the first two top notes come in after 1. 1, it's like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So in the second measure what happens is from the first we have A flat and F. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then one, it's tied over. So I play first on two and then I move the fingers to three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Then in the third bar I do the same procedure. One, two, three, and the rhythm is here. Uh, four, five, seven, nine. So the rhythm there is a, a hemiole, which means two against three. So if I have a play three here and left leg, it's going to be uh, one, two, three, one, two, one, two. And there's a melody for this called Nice Cup of Tea. Nice Cup of Tea. Nice Cup of Tea. Or you can say one, two, three, one, two, one, one, three, one, three, one, three, one, three, one, three, one, three, nice cup of tea. So the left hand, right hand is playing one, three, three, da, da. But if you look at bar three, there's a tie between, um, yeah, the F's in the top. So you play uh, one, two, three, one, three, one, three, one, so you don't play one, two, three, it's tied over, so it's, you can practice first to play without the ties, then you have one, two, three, and then you tie over 
over the upper F and then you get uh, 1, 2, F, 3, and 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, F, 3, and 4. Mm -hmm. So that's the rhythm. And if you play the entire bar with the right hand, we'll get three uh, triplets going here. Triplet is like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 9, 9. Then again, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1. That's the rhythm again. You can also play without a tie, then it would be one, two, three, one, two, and three, and four, five, six, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, and three, and four, five, six. Mm. So that's the rhythm of that bar. And then we're going to fourth bar. Again, one, three, one, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, bar five. One, two, three, four, five, six, and then I go here. One, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah. So that's how we're going to play it. And then the left hand. We have begin with two, four, and one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Then we play G flat and A. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Back to A flat and F. One, two, three, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Going down to G flat and E, e flat. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Going down to E flat and D flat. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then you go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then you go here B flat and A flat. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and here you see the B flat is tied over, so it's only the under voice that moves. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Hemiole, so that's going to be one, two, nice, couple, three. But here we have to think in the right hand the three. One, two, three, 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 So this is going to be the left hand. So you're going to think da 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 da. So then, uh, when you play this part together, it's going to be like this. Uh, and actually everything begins on uh, the second beat. So the left hand comes in on the second beat and the right hand comes in on beat three. So it's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, and this coming on seven, eight, nine. So it's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. the others too while we're at it. So in the left hand it goes one, two, three, and then it goes up here. So it 
it's a triplet, it's gonna go, if you play it in time, it's gonna be uh, one, two, three. So it's again, it's gonna be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Mm -hmm. So the melody starts as before, it's just it's enriched now, there's more notes added. So we play like before, almost, but we play four, five, two, four, and here we go to one, four. So we play an E flat minor chord in the first inversion here. Three, and then one. Then we play this. So in bar uh, 10, it's and then E flat. This note just lay. And then we go one, and then we play A flat, D flat, A flat, D flat, and then to E flat, and then we go back up to A flat, D flat, and then F, D flat, E flat. So the rhythm there is going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And then again in bar 13, 1, 2, 3, we'll go up here, 4, 5, 6. And then we have the same rhythm as I had before. My scapotti, my scapotti. But it's tied over, so it's going to be 1, Da, 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 ba, ba. One, two, three, one, da, da. You can practice it without a tie. And it's going to be one, two, three, one, two, three, one, ba, ba, ba. one, two, two, ba, 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 ba. Or you can practice it with the ties. One, two, three, ba, ba, ba. If it's with the piano, it's going to be a one, one, two, three, one, two, three, four. If you play without the ties, again, one, two, three, one, two, three, four. And without the ties, it's going to be a one, two, three, four, five, six, one, again, one, two, three, four, five, six, again, one, two, three. Rhythm, and then it goes again to bar 14. One, two, three, bum, bum. same rhythm as before. One, two, three, one, down, down, down. With the tides, it's gonna be bum, 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 bum. played, it's gonna be one, two, three, one. If you want to practice it without the ties, it's going to be one, two, three, down, 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 down. Again, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, three, one, three, one, three, one, three. Yes. And in the left hand, we came down to in bar nine to this chord. So we played E flat, A flat, and then F and A flat up here, F A flat. So I'm pretty much playing a D flat chord, I'm just playing it in three octaves. So it's pretty one, two, three, and then melody here again, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then I play here, one, four here. So I'm playing a uh, or a D flat chord here with an E flat on top. They're all from the D uh, flat major scale. So again, here I'm playing a D flat chord. On top of it, it's an E flat minor chord. So again, I'm going to take it from bar nine with a pickup. So it's going to be a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight.
tone is going, a D flat major chord in first inversion with F in the bass. So it goes one, two, three. The rhythm there is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And you see the fingering is good here. Five, four, one, two, two, four. One. And together in that bar, in bar 11, it's going to be uh, one, two, three, uh, and then go up here, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and then goes back to G flat, over E flat minor over G flat again. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. And now we go up in the left hand to an D flat. Major chord over A flat. So it's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Mm -hmm. And in the left hand we have. Same rhythm as for. flat going down to F in octaves. Mm -hmm. So again it's be one, two, three, four, five, six, and then it's one. Yeah, so this hemi all goes uh, repeats all over the place. So this is the opening. Uh, and in the left hand uh, if we take bar 13 up here and then you have E flat here I'm gonna take those two bars again slowly 13 here to play every bar uh, with a pedal because otherwise it's going to sound dry without a pedal it's going to sound like okay. it doesn't sound good at all this music is all based on the pe pe pedal to make it sounds good so again let's take the opening from the beginning I'm going to count and you can see how I play it on the keyboard so it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, so we get more of the musical feel for it. One.
job. So this is the beginning of Claire de Lune. Uh, it's not super difficult music, but it's based on uh, having a good fingering. So you can see the fingerings on the PDF in this uh, combined video. So I will check out that fingering closely because it's going to make it easier for you. And then you have to figure out where the melody is at, all this. So it sings out and it becomes clear. And everything underneath that is just creating a sound cloud, like a mass of sound to enhance the melody. And this is how Debussy builds this music. He has different themes coming in and out. And he colors them in different ways to kind of create more of a, an emotion than a kind of a piece that goes from theme A to B. And this is how the Impressionists made their music and also in painting and art. If you take, uh, check out uh, Monet from this period, it's a lot about colors and feelings and emotions, creating a state of mind more than going from A to B or program music like uh, paintings on an uh, exhibition by Mussorgsky, for instance. So yeah, so enjoy this and uh, We'll stay together for the next video. This is Modern Piano Styles with Adam. See you next time for the next video, the next interesting continu continuation of Debussy. See you next time, bye.